Well, it's inevitable that at some point you're going to get a clog in your 3D printer and I wanted to show you how to disassemble this printer and remove the clog. Um, over the past few months I've gotten a few random clogs in this printer and I'm going to do some videos later on to try to fix that. I'm going to print, put on a bigger fan with a flange and I'm also going to rewrap this hot end to try to prevent the heat from coming up. But what I wanted to talk about today was how to remove the clog itself. Um, if you've never taken it apart before, you might be feel a little daunted. This one is super basic. There's just a couple things you need to take apart. So let's zoom in. I'll show you how to first um, free up anything that might happen here at the top and then the real culprit, which is down here at the hot end. So here we are at the top where the motor feeds the filament in. You probably won't have a problem here, but your filament will be coming through here and be stuck. So the first thing you're going to do while the printer is still hot, you're going to squeeze this in and try to see if you can pull it out. Hopefully you can just pull that filament out. If you can't, the problem is somewhere down here. But you might want to just come in and cut the filament itself at this end, or if you wanted to take this end apart too, you grab that nut, with some needle nose pliers, you loosen this up, this brass fitting, and it comes apart. You might be able to try to pull it once you do that, but usually it doesn't work. It's probably something lower down. But you, you can see that that's just as quickly you can take that apart and put it back together. So let's move down now to the extruder portion where the filament is probably stuck. So now down at the extruder, there's a, a fan and a cover. You can pop these off. There's a couple springs. You pull that one off and then you pull this other one off and you can set this up out of the way. Hopefully it stays. Um, now I've had the problem where my filament gets clogged up here. There's a little plastic tube and you would think that again you would take some pliers and twist this off just like the top one. I did that the first time. It's a mistake. You do not twist this off. You're going to grind it up. What you need is the tiniest little Allen wrench you can find. Not the Allen wrench that comes with your printer. That's bigger, this one's even smaller. You're gonna loosen up this little Allen bolt on the front and you're gonna lift this other nut off. Then that frees this part up. And when you lift this up, there's gonna be filament in here and hopefully you can just pull it right off. Hopefully the clog is here in this white plastic tube and this all comes up together. Um, I was getting clogs that looked like this from all different filaments. They were clogged up right just like that in that plastic tube. And the reason was I think the heat was traveling up causing this filament to get soft and as it was trying to shrink it down it was coiling up and compressing it. So I, had, I saved all these different um, mis, you know where it was clogging up like that. They were all the same. Um, so you can see once you do that you just pull the filament up and as this is hot you need this to be hot down here otherwise it'll be stuck in this uh, the hot end. So you need that to be hot so you can still pull it pull it up. Um, and then once you do that, you can just put it back together. And I'm going to go, like I said, I'm going to do another video later on showing how to cure the problem of filament getting hot in the heat sink. But you push that down, you put the nut back in there. It's a little tricky. But there you go. It's all back together, ready to have filament fed in and print again. I came up and I knew there was a problem because the print was stuck to the bed and it wasn't finished. It was very rough and uh, ripped up and I knew something had gone wrong. Um, and I knew the filament wasn't coming out. So the first thing I did was check to see that it wasn't uh, caught because sometimes the filament can overlap and that was fine. Um, and then I looked up here in the motor section and I saw that it was all jammed up in here. and. Then I knew that it was clogged down here at the, uh, the tip here. So um, the motor had actually spun around so much that it ripped through. So I uh, cut this filament off, got rid of it, and I tried to pull it out of here, but I couldn't. So I actually had to take these two nuts off. I actually held this with um, these small uh, kind of needle nose pliers, and then I took another plier and I loosened this up. I lifted this up and I was able to pull the filament out and this is what it looked like. You can see it's kind of ripped up on the one end and down on this end it's this weird shape where it was being forced 
into the hot end, but it was clogged. It was being forced down by this motor. So um, I got it out, but I knew I had to clog out the, uh, the nozzle. And here's what the nozzle looked like when I got it off. And the way I got it off was I heated it, I turned it on, I turned it up to 220, I grabbed the hot end up here with pliers like that, and I grabbed the, the nozzle with uh, just some small pliers and turned it out. And I knew immediately there was a little bit of a problem because it, it, there was no resistance to it. Um, <clears throat> you would think that would be t really tight to get off, but mine was actually kind of loose. And I had seen problems before where some filament was kind of bubbling off to the side. So I think that was the problem, was that over time, that nozzle kind of worked itself loose. And filament just got in there and burned up. And all the different filament changes, it had come, become black. Because I started using a needle. People suggested, hey, get a small pin or a needle. And the f even the finest one I could find... I couldn't fit it through that 0.4 millimeter hole. I know there's little drill bits or something you could buy, but it was very easy to take that nozzle off. You know, you just twist it right off. I was kind of worried about it, but it came right off. And after that, I could stick the needle up into the hot end. I could stick the needle up into there, and I could stick it, uh, the needle down into the the other end of the, the nozzle. And um, I... Before that, I, I forgot to mention, I took this fan to get at it. I took this fan, took the clips off and moved that up out of the way. Um, but there's a few things I could do now. Um, after it's all been cleaned off, one is I could put this back on. And I think after I heated it up, it would work and it would be okay. But there's a chance that there's some stuff caught in here and it's never coming out. Uh, the second option is I could take a blowtorch and I could really heat this thing up to not glowing but get it really hot and make sure all that material is cleaned cleaned out or what I did do is I went on Amazon I bought a five pack of these 0.4 millimeter nozzles um, I figure I've done I don't know how many prints on this same nozzle I've never changed it so maybe 50 prints I don't know 100 hours would be a, a rough guess but looking at it it looks pretty worn and a little bit burned up so um, I think putting on a new nozzle will help out a lot. So uh, once I get a new one, I'm uh, just going to heat it up, or not heat it up, I'm going to screw it back in place, see how it goes. Another thing I read is that people used um, one of those filament lubers, and I'm either going to put that um, at the top here, or possibly I'll have to find another spot, maybe before it goes into the motor, where you put... Uh, there's all different designs. There's screw-on designs or snap-on where you, you put a sponge, you wrap a, a small sponge around it and it clips on there and you put olive oil or three-in-one oil or I've seen a canola oil, anything that will lubricate it without causing it to smoke at a high temperature like 250 Celsius. And that will help lubricate the filament as it goes through. If you've had a problem with uh, your Monoprice Select Mini clogging, it's, I thought it was going to be a big deal. I was kind of worried. I was, it might have been clogged all the way up before. Um, I, I did have it clogged up once when I turned the fan speed to half and the filament got all uh, a little bit spongy in there and it stopped printing. But I was able to pull it out and start it up again. This time it was completely clogged. But taking that nozzle off wasn't a big deal. You just twist it right off. Well, uh, a couple days after I ordered uh, the new nozzles, they just showed up. And I really like the design. They're more tapered at the end, less flat. So it, it looks like it would uh, uh, not catch the filament as easy. It wouldn't clump up on there since it's a longer taper. So I'm going to put it back on the uh, extruder. Um, obviously recheck the bed level because um, it might be a different length. It looks like it might be. So I'll have to recheck the bed level and see how it prints. Okay, I think I have run into a bit of a problem, that, and that is when I try to put this on, I can get it about two threads on, and then it stops, and I don't really want to force it. I think there might be some filament caught in those threads, so I'm going to try to feed it on there, but if I can't, I'll have to uh, heat it up and try to put it on with it hot. Well, it seems to be going a little bit better now, so I, I didn't want to heat it up. 
but I might have to to get it fully seated. Yes, after I heated it up uh, to 200 degrees, I was able to tighten that a lot more. So you're going to probably have to do that. You can see I haven't fully tightened it. You can see I can move it a lot easier now. So there was some filament in there. So you got to grab this with uh, the big wrench. And with the smaller wrench, you can tighten it all the way down till it seats. I was able to turn it that much more. And now I can feel it tightening up. So that's tight now. So like I said, that was just a quick little video to show you how you can unclog this printer. It's really quick and easy. It doesn't take any time at all. But next I'm going to do two videos showing how you can fix the problem if you get if you continuously are getting clogs in here. The first one is I'm going to I'm going to do a fan, put a bigger fan on here to try to cool it down. And the next thing, I'm going to use some wrap, some fiberglass or some carbon uh, carbon wrap and wrap that hot end to keep that heat from getting up that in that tube and getting it soft enough to coil up and clog. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.